it is 2024 and you are just now considering buying yourself a DNA test. Good choice. The usefulness of a DNA test is not only in finding relatives or finding out your ethnic makeup, but also in discovering your traits, diseases you might be predisposed to, your in-depth ancestry, and learning more about yourself. Let me help you choose a DNA service that will do this best for the lowest price. I'm only really going to focus on four companies, Family Tree DNA, MyHeritage, Ancestry, and 23andMe. To objectively evaluate these companies and the services they provide, I will rank them on a couple of qualities that I consider most important in accomplishing our goal, which is to learn more about yourself. First, let's talk about SNPs. How much data are you actually getting for your money? Up until December 2023, 23andMe included 640k SNPs in its raw data. This is around as much as MyHeritage's 600k, Family Tree DNA 630k, and Ancestry DNA 670k. On a scale from 0 to 50 points, I am going to rank Ancestry DNA as 50, Family Tree DNA as 45, MyHeritage as 40, and 23andMe as 0. How come am I ranking 23andMe as 0? Well, the reason I'm ranking 23andMe as 0 is that since December 2023, 23andMe users are actually not even able to access their data. 23andMe disabled data downloads. This means that if you were to purchase 23andMe, you would not have access to your own raw genetic data. You would not be able to use it for any of my tools, you would not be able to get your G25 coordinates, or upload yourself to GED match. All of this exploration would be closed off to you. That's why 23andMe gets a zero for this category. Let's move on to the next topic, which is the amount of relevant data for GED match and other ethnicity calculators. This includes any ethnicity calculator you want to use, such as G25 or Eurogenes K36. I'm going to only look at Eurogenes calculators here. The scale is going to be from 0 to 5. Eurogenes K13 will find around 171k SNPs in a typical Ancestry file, 78k SNPs in a typical MyHeritage and Family Tree DNA file, and 162k SNPs in a typical 23andMe file, which is once again quite irrelevant because currently you would not even be able to access your file with 23andMe. Anyway, on a scale from 0 to 5 points, I am going to rate Ancestry a 5, my heritage and family tree DNA at 3, and 23andMe once again at 0. Next, let's move on to haplogroups. Ancestry, 23andMe, and family tree DNA all provide concrete data on the Y and mitochondrial DNA. However, the basic $80 family finder of family tree DNA only covers autosomal DNA, so it is disqualified. Since this is the one we're comparing, this service is getting a 0 for this. Uh, MyHeritage only provides relevant data on the Y. Although MyHeritage actually does give some calls from the X, you cannot get much uh, in, terms of the, in terms of the data for the X or for, for the mitochondrial lineage. You will also frequently see heterozygous calls on the X with MyHeritage even being a male. Uh, once again, the reliability of MyHeritage calls on the X uh, is very, very dubious. If you want to get your mitochondrial lineage, MyHeritage is not for you. And on a scale from 0 to 10, 23 and me scores basically 10, uh, Ancestry scores 8, MyHeritage scores 5, and Family Tree DNA Family Finder, I am not discarding their other services that cost a lot more, but their Family Finder scores 0. The next factor in comparing the four companies is the ethnicity estimate produced by the company. This is something 23 and me is very good at, and MyHeritage very notoriously bad at. Uh, the ethnicity estimate produced by the company, in my opinion, isn't all that important. You will learn much more from online ethnicity calculators such as G25 or those on GED Match than you will from your company official ethnic estimate, at least in, in my experience. Rating the four companies, 23andMe scores absolutely 5 out of 5. Ancestry, 4 out of 5. I don't like Ancestry estimate as much as 23andMe. Uh, Family Tree DNA, 3 out of 5. And my heritage. Coming in last place, solid 0 out of 5. The next factor I will consider in this comparison is matches. How many matches and relatives will you be able to find? 23andMe database is 14 million people. My heritage database is 6 million people. Uh, Ancestry database is 
18 million people and family tree DNA database is the smallest at 2 million people. Keep in mind that in practice, you will have access to more matches than just those on your service because of GED match. Unfortunately, currently, you are not able to upload to GED match if you are a 23andMe user. That's very, very unfortunate. But for everybody who's not a, tw a 23andMe user, GED match is always an option. So I'm going to factor this in to my scores. So on a scale from 1 to 10, I will rate my heritage as 6, ancestry a 10, full 10, uh, family tree, tree DNA a 0, and 23andMe a 6, even though currently you are not able to upload uh, your file or get your file from 23andMe, there is still a very large database. And because of that, uh, you still will, you will not have trouble finding matches on 23andMe. The final factor we will consider is the price. 23andMe is the most expensive at $120. My heritage costs $40 to $60 depending on when you buy it. Ancestry DNA costs $60, and Family Tree DNA's Family Finder, which is the one we're using for this comparison, costs $80. Rating these prices on a scale from 0 to 50, my heritage comes first at 50, Ancestry comes second at 30, Family Tree DNA Family Finder comes third at 20, and 23andMe comes last at 5. Now, let's tally up those points and announce our winner. Uh, I hope this video has been informative for you, and I hope you enjoy your quest to discover what it is you're made of. I know I gave 23andMe really low ratings, but it is because currently uh, it, is n it is not a very good company. Uh, I hope it improves. I hope in the future my video will be less relevant. Um, but as things stand, you know, this is my opinion on 23andMe. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy my content and of course leave a comment anything you want to argue anything you want to add Maybe I missed something and you want to add that to the discussion. You can leave a comment and please do that. Thanks for watching. Goodbye